Alrighty, Rio and Cuckoo Kachu to you and all my nobodies not watching out there. Pretty sure this game basically told me I can't go through this door because I've already gone through it before. And they were like, nah, that's not how that works. So you go through the left door. So go ahead, narrator. Go ahead. Tell me what, what what's going on here. I went to the door. I went to the right door, right? I better have gone through the right door. I've already gone through the wrong door, like, a million times. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Termination Tuesdays. War broke Wednesdays. Mergers. We can weekly review, we can targets, office efficiency, illegal, boss inspection, dot ideas, and uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Well, this whiteboard manager must have great power. Targets, push for funding for R&D. Uh, get Chris out of the broom closet. Oh, okay. That seems... Does that seem that harsh? Is that hard to do? Um, standard graphs, 40 wide. This is stuff's happening over there. Um, hire somebody to synergize papers. That seems... Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the Paper synergizing. <laughs> what? Okay. Man, you you all don't know how to do any of the things. Please keep the targets on the topic of... And it's just censored out. Okay. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agendas item. Write down next day's agendas. Re re reflect. It's just funny, just like... Hire somebody to synergize the papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire the fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper guy synergizing guy. Like Okay. You're just that mad at the guy who you hired to do your job that did the job well and then failed because he did it too well. Everyone is unique. But you most of all. Charts. Charts and slides slides that's not a proper graph it should be a venn diagram with the two overlapping uh rate and uh, what chart uh same slide okay rate of increase of graphs per slide please no more charts i'm begging please stop 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 ah <laughs> oh, no you guys are so this is this is redonkulous this is like worse than like office space. Like somebody used pi. They used 3.146527 uh, whatever blah blah blah. I don't even know. I don't think that's it. Then they just added one that just has stripes. And a colored in segment. Then the stock market is somewhere in here. Then I can't tell what that is. And then the target demographic. It says teenagers apparently. What is hot? Profits, 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 profits. What is hot? What's your hot topic? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know. If I had to go with right this moment, I'd be like, anime. You know, anime is a pretty good, solid thing. Like that's what hot topics doing. Um, there's other stuff, but basically, anime and video games. Indie video games are doing well. Uh. Indie music, kinda, but mostly anime. It's much more mainstream now. Then they use a telephone directory, which I can't zoom in on, it's just there. Then we have our new product, graphs about things and money. Things, money, more money, things, but money to buy more things, graphs, violent J. You are fired. 
Okay, the stock market. Yeah, no. what do people want? The, I don't even know that I would want to be a part of this company. This company seems like it has no idea what it's doing. It's like run by people who are less business oriented than me. And that is like an incredibly low bar to set. So to fall below that bar is very sad. Uh, we need less reviews. 402 plus 405. Once we get rid of the death sport portion in the primary. Okay, that's concerning. Um, but I, I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers. More water heaters. <laughs> Those two things are not really very much related. Water coolers are, are for people to drink from. Water heaters are so that you can have, like, showers and stuff, right? Like, uh, uh, cooler heaters? I, I, I don't know. Charts that need more, to be more hip. To appeal to... You don't need charts. They don't want to see your charts. Big net, some sort of child trap, criminy. What is wrong? A lot of pers throw something in the ideas bin. Size it. Okay, this is. But they're like, this is how small the tight the, the teenager space is. And then there's the size of the demographic, and then there's that. I guess this is what we're getting of the teenagers uh, from the company wise, and then this is this is what we could be getting. And then this is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No more bin trans cam. No, uh, uh, firing of me. Okay. I, uh, what is wrong with you people? Like, what is this place? And what do we do here? Like, seriously, what, what do we do here? Obviously, we are trying to um market things to to teenagers to some degree we want to synergize stuff um synergize core value expenditures uh shift global market monetize free to play well this wasn't free to play i had to pay for it motherfucker it was a good percentage off but we had to get somebody out of the broom closet who was it? It was like Chris or something? It does not appear to be here. As soon as I step in here, they're gonna. Stanley close stepped me. into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Can I can I take any of these items? No. That's a that's a negative. There was nothing thing. here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No, that no just, reason to still be here. That just makes me feel like you're wrong, because you're a liar. You, sir, are a liar. I do not trust you. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At I'm, least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified I in was some trying way. As it is, to. he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Narrator, if I ever meet you are in you, this game... Are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely I'm, I'm confused. dancing. This is me dancing. I'm dancing. I'm I'm I'm. Mm -ch, mm you do mm realize mm there's no mm choice mm or anything mm in here, right? Mm -ch, mm -ch, if I'd said mm -ch, Stanley walked mm -ch, past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Nah, I just like to do things. things because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to and the story that's what makes me think it is. Whatsoever. I, never I just would have can't thought jump. to mention it. I can't even crouch anymore. Uh, Maybe to you this is somehow its own branch of path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the get broom, broom closet ending? ending? The broom, the broom closet, closet ending was my favorite." I hope your friends find this Thanks concerning. Like I'm, I'm like recording this. Stanley so. was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. 
He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how wow. stupid he is. Wow, you're accusing that all with me. drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Hey, fuck you, buddy. I'll, I'll go well, make my own space station about what's going on right now. with blackjack dead. and hookers. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system oh, wow. I'm and you die collapsed now? in front of your screen. I'm gonna die. In a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby. I'm a, am I gonna so die to because I, I spent so too much time in the before it pause. begins to decompose? Hello, oh. anyone who happens to be nearby, the I'm person at this dance. computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number I'm of your not at a computer. I'm in a room closet. There's no computer. It's you liar. Of the long -term sustainability all, all, of all of you, you, you remove just lie. From the area I would like and to instruct keep, another human to take I, their place. I would, I would like sure to keep understand a lot of the things here. Person, video game mechanics, and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. You're so that the irony and insightful God, you better hope I never meet you, narrator. Like in this game. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right. So I'm good. You're not gonna just have me die or have the floor disappear or some shit like that. The roof cave in. Everything in this room. I don't know. Like fly at me. Cause you could. Like you're the narrator, right? You can do whatever the goddamn you like. It's all these useful things. Can't use any of them. Is this a weed whacker spool? Whatever they're called. Can I not make you do anything? I'm gonna type to my. I'm gonna sex this to my girlfriend. <laughs> my little mannequin girlfriend. I remember her. I don't remember her name, but. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before I you. I totally can. I will go back into this room. You Mother too. Fucker. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Yeah. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can mm -ch hand the controls mm -ch to. Mm -ch a fish? Mm -ch fungus? Mm -ch mm -ch Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. I'm just here to act at this point. My my life is about annoying you. That's it. I don't think like you're a dick, and I don't. I I reflect back what I'm given. Also, you're a liar, so you never know. There could be something here of value, but it does not appear that I can take anything. But I'll go back inside again. I'll close it. And I'll open it again and I'll go back inside. Now, you're done. You're done taunting me. Alright. What if I go back to this thing? Just that they're like, no. That's so not an option. What is this carpet made out of? Alright. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his oh. boss's office. Definitely gonna go downstairs now. Those things look like I could, if I could read better, I could read them, but... But Stanley just couldn't do it. No, He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Am I missing? Maybe. He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All maybe. of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a strange. single moment oh, I'm back for no reason moment. at all. None of it made any logical sense. Not really. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did yeah. doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Your ass. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply yeah. repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. <coughs> this can't be real. 
and at last he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! This yeah. is all a dream. This is all a dream. Yes. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. It's all just he thought to himself, dream. I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to Ooh, gently float fun. above the ground. Can I? Ooh, can I? Then he imagined himself yeah. soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too Wait, appeared. I want to do that. It was so much fun. This isn't. And Stanley marveled not that he had still not woken star up. Star field, I'm still stuck How in the thing. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked Damn himself it. sooner. That didn't last Why very long. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and I'm thinking? I'm not thinking. Now the voice thing. was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found oh, it particularly yes, very strange. Meta. Oh, wow. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Brother, thinking about how it's describing my Deadpool? thoughts, he thought. Like you have no idea and while he thought like, it all you know, very odd, and happened. wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, blah, blah, blah. this was not a dream. How could it be? Blah, was Stanley blah, simply blah. deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, blah, he doesn't have to take responsibility blah, 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 for himself? Blah, I'm just doing that. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Blah, blah, blah. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Blah, blah, blah. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that blah, this blah, was, blah. in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? No, How else the would the voice made, explain all that? Voice this voice was a part thing. of himself too. Surely, surely, oh if he could just... Control he would prove the voice. It. He would prove that he was to in who? control. That this was a dream. Uh, so he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself no to wake up. Fuck. He felt Fuck. the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The Fuck. press of the mattress on his back. I don't. The fresh air of a world a lot of control now. this one. I'm very much removed from me my ability. Up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Mm, Please. I'd rather not. I was okay I with want. the... the I, want I mean, I wasn't happy with the uh, and endless my wife, loop. And my job. All I want is my life for exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. Uh, I am normal. I'm gonna wander around Everything will be in fine. my blindness. I am okay. I've never been okay, sir. Okay, so Stanley began one, two, screaming. Begin. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must oh. be real, I must okay, be. Can anyone hear things my voice? Who am I? Red. Who am I? That's and everything went black. Oh, well, I, it, I don't know, is that better than the red? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, I guess I'm no longer Stanley. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, stand? gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Is that me? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed oh, dead I'm the on crazy the sidewalk. Person. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky face. she was to it's be like normal. Eyes. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what I is feel real like you just made and what me isn't. Jump it was from one consciousness to, to another, and so in I've infected way, her with my crazy man made if that's her the case. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. Oh. The very important people Plus, whose I'm impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Sir. And then she turned Nine and ran. One. Well, if you don't make me, I'm definitely going to like hang out next to the body and like lay down and be like, Hey, buddy. 
What made you lose it? Oh, you're dead? I'm gonna try to pretend you're the guy who played Harry Potter in that one movie where he was like, like, what was it called? Like, uh, Swiss Army Man? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I might be a woman now. I don't know. Couldn't tell, couldn't tell you. I don't have a, a body. All right, well, that's where we're at. I'm going to end this and start it again because I became, apparently, the narrator has changed me into a new character. And again, this isn't the Stanley Parable standard. This is like Stanley Parable Extra Dimensions or some shit like that. I don't remember. 4D or some bullshit like that. I don't know. It's It's got extra, it's like plus the DLC or whatever. I don't. I don't know, and I don't really care. It's it's all just for fun, and am I having fun? Mm, a bit, I guess. Definitely haven't got my money's worth yet. So, that's a thing, but we'll see. I'll be back. Don't neglect your jump button, because if you do, this is what you get. All you can do is text. Or sext if you have a mannequin to talk to. That's... Very creepy and weird. Alright, cool.